This is Motorola Edge 50 Neo and today I would like to share a few useful camera tips and tricks for this smartphone. At the start let's explore a few useful camera modes that this phone has to offer, starting with the Pro Mode, which unlocks the camera properties for you to adjust. So while in the camera pro mode, you can change manually change the focus distance, you can adjust the white balance, shutter speed, ISO value and exposure. So if you're not satisfied with how Motorola automatically treats those properties, or you simply would like to get more manual control over the pictures you shoot, or um, you would like to get some particular, particular result out of the scene that you have in front of you, Camera Pro Mode is definitely a way to go. Then if we'll go into the more section of modes, you can also here find the Ultra Res Mode, which is pretty self-explanatory. It unlocks the highest resolution sensor on your camera. So now let's take two identical photos, one in the regular photo mode and the second one in the Ultra Res. And we'll compare them side by side to see how different 12 and 50 megapixels actually are. So. Uh, this one is regular photo mode, as you can see the quality is pretty damn good. That's the furthest I can zoom in, the details are amazing, if you ask me. The level of detailing that uh, this sensor allows for is just, well, impressive. I'll say you that, you can well see yourself how clear those uh, little rocks are, you can really distinguish every little detail that they have, so it's really great. And the high-res mode should be even better, I expect. Yep, I can zoom in a little bit further, and the level of details is also slightly higher, so the difference is not like uh, day and night, but, I mean, it's noticeable, I guess. Overall, the main shooters of this phone are pretty impressive, and definitely reliable. So, for what I can see, they are really good cameras. And when it comes to the picture specifications, if we will uh, look at this photo, it's uh, 6x8K resolution and the regular photo mode is 3x4, so two times, I guess, something like that, as much. Now if we'll go into your camera settings, you can go into capture methods and enable a few additional capture methods. So the gesture selfie, auto smile capture and tap anywhere to capture. So the gesture selfie, uh, once enabled, you can just show your palm to the selfie camera and it will automatically take a photo from your device's front shooter. The auto smile capture will automatically capture an image once it will detect that everyone in the frame is smiling. And the tap anywhere to capture is pretty self-explanatory. So I will not test the auto smile capture, I'll try using the gesture capture, but it's not really reliable, your hand has to be really far away from the camera for it to work, and it does not really recognize your palm all the time for some reason, and it's not like the Motorola issue, from my experience it works poorly on <laughs> pretty much every phone that uh, allows for this feature, but well, what can you do? I mean. It's not like, it's not that it works badly, it just uh, needs for you to stand very, very far away from the camera itself, so... Uh, like, when I'm this close to my phone, it's probably, for some reason, does not recognize... Uh, is not recognizing this gesture. And the tap anywhere to capture, just, well, tap anywhere and the photo will be taken. And the final small tip that I wanted to share with you guys is that you, if you will... Uh, tap anywhere at the viewfinder... First of all, let me switch off this uh, tap to capture shooting method. So if you'll tap anywhere at the viewfinder, you can adjust its exposure by moving this slider, the sun icon, to the top if you would like to make your photo lighter and, well, vice versa to the bottom if you would like, if you are looking for, well, dimmer results. And well, as far as those tips that I wanted to share with you guys go that will be it. So should you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section below. But as for now, thanks for watching and bye-bye.